In this screencast, we're going to go through comparing the cost of capital equipment. You know, it's so that you've already designed a plant and you want to know whether or not later down the road you need to replace a piece of equipment or do something else to the process. You know, how are you going to compare two different pieces of equipment based on initial cost, installation cost, maintenance, and salvage at a certain time, how long the lifespan of each piece of equipment might be. Uh, and when you do this, it's really important that you do compare them on the same time period so that you can make a logical comparison between the two. And when we do this, we want to compare them using what's known as present worth analysis. So we're going to take any future costs or yearly costs and put it into a present value that we can make the comparison between the types of equipment that we're looking at. We're going to disregard inflation, but we are going to account for an annual interest rate. Let's take the following example to uh, demonstrate how we would compare two pieces of equipment using two different methods. One of those methods is going to be a present worth analysis, and the other method is going to be one of a capitalized cost. So we have two reactors that's being considered for purchase, and you can see the information regarding these two different reactors, reactor A and reactor B. Now they have different service lifetimes. For an effective annual interest of 8% a year, we want to determine which reactor is a better purchase and explain why. Let's look at what's known as a present worth analysis. So we're going to start with a cash flow diagram. I'll step by step through reactor A and then show you what it looks like for reactor B. So at the beginning of our timeline, time zero, we have an initial cost and in installation of 25000 So we draw an arrow in the negative direction and label this as negative $25,000. Now, every year after that, we're going to have maintenance charges of $2,000. And this is going to be for up to four years, since that's the lifetime of reactor A. Since we're comparing it on an equal time scale, we need to find a common multiplier between the two reactors. And so we could compare this on a 12-year scale. So we're going to draw $2,000, that's negative, every year for the first four years. So that's year one, at the end of year two, year three, year four. Since it's uniform, we're taking into consideration the maintenance costs over the entire year, but we're doing our calculation at the end of the year. There's no overhaul, but there is a salvage value. So at the end of year four, we can get $3,000 back from this piece of equipment. Also at the end of year four, we would have to buy a new reactor. So this would start our new four-year cycle. And then for the final four years, it would look, again, pretty similar, except we wouldn't be buying a new piece of equipment, since this would be the end of our cycle. And this just gives us a pictorial representation of our cash flow on a yearly basis. So we could do the same thing for case B. Now you can see our initial cost in insulation, 15000 is shown at our time zero. And every year after that, it's 4000 a year for maintenance. Now we were told it's six-year lifespan, so here's our six-year mark. So we'd have to buy another pump and this would get us through the 12 years. But at the end of year three, we would have an overhaul, so that's more so than just our maintenance. So we would have both our maintenance, since again, that's accrued over the course of a year. So you can see there's no salvage value for case B. So just looking at these two cash flow diagrams, the fact that we have some kind of salvage value in case A and our maintenance is 2,000, compared to case B where our maintenance is 4,000, it appears case A would be the better choice. But this is why it's important to use present worth analysis. So we're going to take all of our future costs that we've written out since we're really located at time zero making this decision. And we're going to sum them up accounting for the time value of money into our present day cost so that we can make a decision as to which one is the better investment. For case A, we're going to write the present worth cost. Right off the bat is our initial cost, so negative $25,000. Now we're going to sum up our maintenance costs for the 12 years. So the way I like to set this up is determine what equation we're going to use for time value of money calculations for this cost. So because this is an annual repeating uniform series cost and we want the present worth, we're going to use a uniform series present worth factor calculation. And we're going to take into consideration the rate that we're doing this at, which is 8%, as stated in the problem. And we're going to do this for 12 years. I put this in parentheses to show us what information we would use in this calculation. And one thing I forgot to write in here is it's helpful to write the charge that we're multiplying by this factor. Then we need to account for our other charges on years 4, 8, and 12. 
So we could take 25,000 a year four and subtract out the 3,000, and that gives us negative 22,000. So this is a future cost that we're now making a present cost. So we're going to use a present to future factor, again, 8%, but now this is at year four. We do the same thing for year eight, and using eight years now in our equation. And then lastly, we're adding 3,000 as a future value that we get from our salvage of the equipment. Again, 8%, and this is at year 12. So this is what our equation setup looks like. And now we're going to fill in the appropriate equations with these values. So I've written out the equations that we can use for these factors, where I is the periodic interest rate, and N is the number of periods. So this is assuming that our interest is compounded yearly. So we could rewrite our equation above using these equations, and it should look like the following. So when we calculate this out, the present value cost of reactor A comes out to negative 66937 For a 12-year period, it would cost us $67,000 right now to have reactor A. Following those rules, for case B, we would have our negative 15000 as our upfront cost. We would then be subtracting out 15000 at year 6, so this is going to be a present future factor, 8%, 6 year. We would also be subtracting out our maintenance costs, so that would be 3500 present future, 8% year 3, as well as the same thing for year 9. And then we have to account for our maintenance charges, our annual uniform series, and that's going to be our 4000 present over our annual cost at 8% interest for 12 years. And I get a present cost of reactor B as 50 9,126. So to have reactor B for 12 years, we would need $59,000 up front as our present worth calculation. So examining these two reactors, reactor A cost us 67,000, reactor B cost us 59,000. It makes more sense to invest in reactor B based on our present worth analysis.